Hi, this is Vanessa, and I am having what is called an ambulatory EEG, which is basically a 72-hour EEG that you can do at your home. And um, before I started this, I did some research, and there really wasn't a lot that I could find on the internet. So I decided to go ahead and do this short video just to kind of let some other people know what to expect. Um, I'm the type of person that just likes to know what I'm in for. So to begin, um, they, uh, the woman came over and I sat in a chair. I was there probably close to an hour. Um, and she first cleaned my scalp um, in the areas that she was going to be putting the leads. And then she used a little pencil and wrote on it. Um, I did have brain surgery in November, so part of it was a little sensitive when she had to make the marks on my scalp, uh, where to put the leads, but it wasn't horrible. And then she glued all the leads on. You can kind of see it's covered up in a lot of areas, but you can kind of see there's a lead right there and a lead right there. Uh, there's one on my forehead. That's a better view of the actual lead. Um, and then I've got some over here and they're all over the rest of my scalp. Um, and then after she glued them on, she put this sticky tape stuff, the stuff that you can kind of see and you can see all the wires going back from it. And then she wrapped gauze around my head a number of times and then put this cap thing on. Um, it has all really stayed in place really well. Some people, uh, they like the gauze kind of around their chin um, just to kind of hold it in place better. I chose not to do that. I figured it would drive me nuts and I'm glad that I didn't. Um, everything stayed on really well and even during my sleep and moving around during the day, nothing seemed to move at all. So um, she did a really good job gluing them on. I also have um, one here on my chest and one on this side of my chest, which is wires going up and then stuck into the back. The wires, she did a good job giving me a good amount of lead. I can move my head, I can do whatever I want. The wires have not bothered me at all. Um, so these are a little sticky. I kind of tend to have a skin sensitivity to tape. So I'm kind of wondering what it's gonna look like when I take it off, um, if I'm gonna have some red marks from the tape or not. But otherwise, um, the only problem I've really had is um, it has been a little itchy. Occasionally it'll get a little itchy, but I can kind of rub it um, and that kind of takes care of it. So um, besides the stuff that's stuck here on my head, um, there are wires. You're kind of not going to be able to see them. Let's see. Can you see that? I don't know. Wires kind of coming out of the back right there. Um, I don't know what you were able to see. Um, and then they go down. She put this big the thing that's over my head around all the wires um, and it goes down to a bag and I can hang the bag over my shoulder um, whatever I need to do um, and then I've just kind of kept this with me it just kind of hangs around my back um, it's been a little annoying just kind of having this but honestly it's lighter than my purse so it really hasn't been horrible this is uh, the wires that are going down into the bag so if I unzip the bag I can pull this out. I do have to change the batteries in here um, twice a day just to kind of keep it going. Um, she said the batteries would last 24 hours, but they have you change them twice a day just to make sure that it doesn't die. The last thing you want is to have this thing on your head for three days and then have the batteries die. Um, so I've changed them twice a day and you just pull this sock thing off of the machine. And then you can see these are all the wires that are connected to my head. So all of these things go into the sock and up to my, to my scalp. And then there's just this little battery pack here. You just pop it off and change the batteries. They did give me a huge container of AA batteries um, just to change it and it's good to go. And the reason they use AA instead of the, um, like an ion or something that would last longer is, um, because those are bulkier and they're heavier and people complained about them. So they just decided to go to the AA and it's a lot easier. So no big deal. So, and then also, I'll do that in a minute. The, on this bag, I've got this um, button that stays in the outside pocket right here. And whenever I feel like I'm having a seizure, a twitch, um, a headache, um, anything that is even remotely abnormal, I push the button 
and then um, I have to keep track of everything. I'll show you the paper in a minute. Um, but I push the button and that way they'll see a spike on my uh, radar thing showing that I felt something at this time. And then they'll go back a few minutes and look at the brain waves and see if there's anything that was going on or, or what was causing that feeling that I had. So here's the paper, actually I shouldn't give you that, that I keep track of. And it just kind of says briefly um, what kind of things I'm having, what I'm feeling, um, what's going on. And then I also have this other paper here that um, is just basic activities. I'm supposed to keep track of things that I do during the day. So anything that would set it off, for instance, if I eat, um, they would feel the motion or see the motion of my jaw moving consistently, which also looks like a seizure. So I need to write down that I'm eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack at any point in time so that they know that it's not a seizure, it's just me eating. So here's a video camera that I've had on me for the last three days and it stays on at all times you can see it says record up there um and basically they just want to be able to see what i'm doing for the most part it stays in the general room that i'm in i really don't have to carry it around with me um so for instance if i choose to stay in the living room during the day uh, for the most part during this test um, I would just go put it, set it up somewhere in the living room where they can see me. And then at night, um, I set it up in my bedroom, which is where it's at right now. And um, that way it can see my bed, it can see me sleeping. Um, there are some people that um, have seizures overnight and um, they like to watch that just to kind of see what I'm doing. They can see my brain waves and my movement at the same time. So, um, the video camera, honestly, for me, has probably been the hardest part simply because I don't stay in one room. I have three kids, I have animals, I have things that I have to do, and I just really don't stay put very well. So it's been really hard for me to stay in the room with the video camera, and I hope that um, they're able to just see what they can see and um, and that it, that it does help. There is a, a night camera on here, um, or night light, I guess, whatever you wanna call it, um, so that we get night good night vision. And then there's also a setting on the camera that gets good night vision. Um, they both plug in, and so I don't have to do any batteries for this, and um, just keep recording. Well, that's pretty much the end of what I've got going on with this EEG. The lady is scheduled to come back this afternoon and take all this off. Um, she did say that it's best to have a really cheap conditioner when she takes it off and just soak your head in the conditioner and let it sit for a few minutes. That kind of helps loosen up the glue and things before you wash it. And then um, a really good shampoo that will really scrub it out. So um, buy those in advance. Be ready to take a shower when you take this off. It's going to take a while to get all the glue and things off of your head um, since it's it's been thick enough to stay there for three days. Um, and then um, I guess just wait for your results. My doctor said my results should be in um, within two weeks. I'm kind of waiting on some other things as well. So um, mine could be a little bit longer than normal. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them after this video and I will answer as much as I can. Good luck.